Chapter 20 The Lord said to Moses, Give the Israelites these instructions which apply to those who are Israelites by birth, as well as to the foreigners living among you. If any among them devote their children as burnt offerings to Molech, they must be stoned to death by people of the community. I myself will turn against them and cut them off from the community, because they have defiled my sanctuary and profaned my holy name by giving their children to Molech. And if the people of the community ignore this offering of children to Molech and refuse to execute the guilty parents, then I myself will turn against them and cut them off from the community, along with all those who commit prostitution by worshipping Molech. If any among the people are unfaithful by consulting and following mediums or psychics, I will turn against them and cut them off from the community. So set yourselves apart to be holy, for I, the Lord, am your God. Keep all my laws and obey them, for I am the Lord who makes you holy. All who curse their father or mother must be put to death. They are guilty of a capital offense. If a man commits adultery with another man's wife, both the man and the woman must be put to death. If a man has intercourse with his father's wife, both the man and the woman must die, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has intercourse with his daughter-in-law, both must be put to death. They have acted contrary to nature and are guilty of a capital offense. The penalty for homosexual acts is death to both parties. They have committed a detestable act and are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has intercourse with both a woman and her mother, such an act is terribly wicked. All three of them must be burned to death to wipe out such wickedness from among you. If a man has sexual intercourse with an animal, he must be put to death and the animal must be killed. If a woman approaches a male animal to have intercourse with it, she and the animal must both be put to death. Both must die, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has sexual intercourse with his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, it is a terrible disgrace. Both of them must be publicly cut off from the community. Since the man has had intercourse with his sister, he will suffer the consequences of his guilt. If a man has intercourse with a woman suffering from a hemorrhage, both of them must be cut off from the community, because he exposed the source of her flow, and she allowed him to do it. If a man has sexual intercourse with his aunt, whether his mother's sister or his father's sister, he has violated a close relative. Both parties are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has intercourse with his uncle's wife, he has violated his uncle. Both the man and woman involved are guilty of a capital offense, and will die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has violated his brother, and the guilty couple will remain childless. You must carefully obey all my laws and regulations, otherwise the land to which I am bringing you will vomit you out. Do not live by the customs of the people whom I will expel before you. It is because they do these terrible things that I detest them so much. But I have promised that you will inherit their land a land flowing with milk and honey. I, the Lord, am your God, who has set you apart from all other people. You must therefore make a distinction between ceremonially clean and unclean animals, and between clean and unclean birds. You must not defile yourselves by eating any animal or bird, or creeping creature that I have forbidden. You must be holy, because I, the Lord, am holy. I have set you apart from all other people to be my very own. Men and women among you who act as mediums or psychics must be put to death by stoning. They are guilty of a capital offense.